Well, you know, I'm down here selling go-go tapes, inner city music, you know, when I'm not out bombing or, you know, hitting rooftops, spray painting, you know, trucks and stuff like that. This is uh, another version of uh, opposite of rap music, you know, it's like Parliament Funkadelic style, you know, with a little, a lot of uh, Congo playing and, st and stuff like that, kind of African music, you know, but something that everybody listen to, you know, when they want to get high or tagging or bombing or getting up. Well, I started uh, writing back in 1985 when a lot of uh, kids around the ghetto, black kids were mostly doing it back then. It wasn't really like other races doing it at the time where we would go to the Go-Go's, you know, and meet up with other writers that we heard of or we were all part of a street gang back in the days. So everybody had a tag. But you know, we weren't doing like throw ups or, you know, pieces or nothing like that. They were just, just throwing your tags up anyway, you know. But it was like people was getting crossed out and stuff like that. You know, it was like you had to fight them. You couldn't really talk your way out of it, you know. But through the years, everybody started selling drugs. So they didn't really have time to be bombing. So they just started hustling, you know, full time and left the bombing alone. So through the years, Everybody started slowing down, but I was the only one still bombing, so I started really getting fame for what I was doing because I was getting all the attention. But then, like, back in, uh, 89, it was a kid called Seven that started tagging up. Then, after a while, a lot of kids started coming out from the Suburbans and started writing, and 91, it got a crew called MCA, Murder Capital Art where they started bombing the subway lines and then I started bomb, you know, bombing the subway lines and put my tag next to theirs. Then eventually we came across and they put me down with their crew and all of a sudden we just started, set, you know, setting trends for other writers, you know, so now it's just DC just started blowing up but then it just started getting dead because everybody started getting busted and I guess everybody was scared to go to jail so, you know, now it's just kind of down DC is getting kind of dead again, but sooner or later it's going to start picking up, you know, a lot of writers starting to come back out again, so, you know, but I'll be here, you know. <laughs>